this cyborg is destroyed. Earth is finally safe. Must destabilize magnetic field and make everyone on this planet my slave. <laughs> Greatest sequel to a sequel to a sequel ever! Now, I'm going to eradicate you! Oh. Uh, we're experiencing technical difficulties. Uh, the movie's like busted, but hey, you'll get a free ticket for a future showing uh, on your way out. I don't believe this. I waited all year for the sequel of the sequel of The Last Cyborg to come out, and this happens. And right near the end. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I don't think so. I'm going to make everyone in this dimension my slaves. <laughs> ready for tomorrow? I'm presenting antique walkie-talkies. My mom found them at a rummage sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. What are you presenting? I think it sounds really interesting. You would. Look what I'm presenting. My new pocket secretary. It's a one-of-a-kind prototype. The only one in the world. Very expensive. Look! <laughs> Come on, George. See you later, dweebs. After the movie, I saw the cyborg. I think he's escaped into our dimension. That's impossible. Why? We would have seen him by now breaking down walls and destroying things. Yeah, maybe you're right. And it was the walkie-talkie that made an already shrinking world just a little bit smaller. Thank you. Very <clears throat> interesting presentation, Lily. <laughs> All right, Angela, your turn. My apologies for Lily's less-than-riveting presentation. Now, take a look at the latest in high technology. My deluxe multitask pocket planner. The latest in high technology. It's a date reminder, a TV remote control, a telephone, and even operates electrical appliances. Ah. The hat comes with it. The pocket secretary even turns off lights. into slaves. <laughs> Did we see who I think we saw? <laughs> Walk, don't run in an orderly fashion to the designated fire escape exit. Are we supposed to line up in alphabetical order or according to height? Phantasm. It's like a ghost, except it travels through electronic stuff. We think it entered the school through the computers and set off the fire alarms and sprinkler system. Absurd. I think pulling the alarm is someone's idea of a joke. Oh, yeah? So how come the fire alarm hasn't been pulled? Did Angela actually invite us to her garden party? No. Mine says you are not invited to attend my garden party today after school. And you are not invited to go for an ice cream before the party. We couldn't go anyway. We have a cyborg phantasm to catch. It's really starting to smell in here. And we haven't seen a trace of the cyborg phantasm. Shh. I hear something coming. Hmm. Get ready for the fight of the century. Get him! <gasps> what? Hey, whoa! Mm. Oops. <laughs> I can see sending us out of the school, but a week of detentions? I don't think the cyborg phantasm is in the school anymore anyway. When it was on the computers, didn't the cyborg phantasm say, we're going to have a party? Angela had her new pocket secretary at the movie and here at school, and the cyborg knows about the party. So there is a logical explanation. Angela's a cyborg? No. The cyborg phantasm is living in Angela's pocket secretary. Looks like we're going to have to crash a little party. Wonderful. 
My new electronic milkshake machine, soda dispenser, and dishwasher are now fully operational. You're telling me that the cyborg from that dumb movie is now living in my pocket secretary? It's using your pocket secretary as a portal to this dimension to wreak havoc and take over the world. Oh my, he's hiding in here? I'm so afraid. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Computerized systems on over. <laughs> And stop me from enslaving your world. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll stop you. Oh! Must do something. Mmm. <laughs> this is our tasiest battle since we fought the pizza zombies. Except no anchovies. I tried to warn you. Now do you believe me? The only thing I believe is your bad luck. Come on, everyone. Let's go to my party. Anyone for all the soft ice cream they can eat? Thanks, that man. Are you all right? I don't feel well. I think the cyborg phantasm might have made the chocolate sprinkles radioactive. Could it have been the six bowls of ice cream you ate? thought of that, except the cyborg phantasm was standing right beside the sprinkle jar during the ice cream battle. Looks like we've fallen into one of the cyborg phantasm's diabolically clever traps. This is terrible. How can Zatman help us when he's like this? Give one of your walkie-talkies to Zatman so we can keep in close touch with him. Zatman, you and Fang are going to the movies. Huh? That's right, the movies. If we can find out how they destroyed the cyborg in the movie, we might learn how to destroy the cyborg phantasm here in the real world. Good, Good idea. idea! Take my zapparama. See you after the movie, Zapman. That is, if the cyborg phantasm hasn't taken over the world. Imagine Mona thinking that a cyborg lived in my pocket secretary. What a dweeb. Look, everyone. Ooh, I'm afraid of the cyborg. Better not touch the buttons. <laughs> See, it's ridiculous. Huh? <laughs> we'll handle this. Calling Charlie. Come in, Charlie. Do you read me? Have you learned anything yet? Yeah. I've learned that popcorn mops up radioactive chocolate sprinkles when ingested with raspberry soda. No. Have you learned how they defeat the cyborg in the movie? We're just getting close to the ending now. I'll call you back. 410, out and over. Here comes the cyborg phantasm. Get the zapparama ready. Princess Giant, try to short circuit its wiring. Blast it! Take that! Fools! I'm waterproof. Thanks! I don't think so. What a great party we're having. Assimilation of slaves will proceed on schedule. Retreat! Help! Mona! <laughs> now, where were we, human units? Nothing will stop me. I am invincible. You will all be my slaves. My robot made! It's out of control! We have to stop it! Nothing will stop me! I am invincible! You will be my slave! That must be his power source! Let's destroy it! Yes. Roger, Charlie, do you read me? We Over. Wow! Um, no, it's Charlie, not Roger. And yes, to stop the cyborg, they had to destroy its power source. <clears throat> Oops, gotta go. 410, out and over. It's got me! It's gonna make me a slave! Angela, we have to destroy its power source. Your pocket secretary. No! It's 
It's one of a kind. It's special, like I am. Okay, then whatever you do, don't push that red button there. I'll do what I want, Miss Smarty Pants. <laughs> Lily and I would love to stay and help you clean up, but we'd hate to overstay our welcome. Toodaloo. <laughs> Dear Vampire Diary, Every Cape Crusader needs a faithful sidekick. And for me, Mona the Vampire, that's Fang. He's fearless, loyal, Extremely well-groomed. Fang, I'm trying to write. Where was I? Oh, yeah. I was about to tell the tale of how I nearly lost Fang forever. It started out as a pretty ordinary day. Mmm. This monster brains and blood is fantastic, Dad. That must be Charlie. We're gonna play a game of monster slime ball. Just make sure you keep it in the backyard. Poor old Mrs. Bryerson nearly had a heart attack last week when your slime ball landed in her hot tub. Don't worry. That won't happen this time. I was still learning to control its velocity back then. My monster slime ball! Oh, gross, Fang! Sorry, we have to cancel the game, Charlie. No problem. I brought back the Poseidon Man you lent me. How about a duel with Biff Buffo? <coughs> Stuck behind the couch again, Fang? <gasps> Biff, what happened to you? <coughs> it was that cat. He's absolutely ruthless. I can't go on, Mona. I'm a broken man, and my leg hurts. <laughs> Bang, how could you? You can recover up here, Biff. Safely out of reach from Fang the Mauler. I know you can't help being a cat, Fang, but you really need to be a little more disciplined. You're supposed to be my trusty sidekick. <gasps> You used my stuffed Von Kriegsela as a scratching post? It took me 32 tries to win him at the fair last year. This is the last straw. You have to learn your lesson. You are officially suspended as my sidekick. Out. dream. I've got to find Fang and apologize. Fang! Fang went out after bedtime and he hasn't come back yet. That's not like Fang. He never misses breakfast. Don't worry, sweetie. He'll be back. After all, he is your faithful sidekick. Thanks for coming over so fast. What I have to tell you is too horrible to say on the phone. Has Von Creepshula escaped again? Did you lose the book of the slimy? Worse. Fang has been stolen by a cat burglar. You were pretty mad at him yesterday. You don't think he ran away, do you? This is Morty, Fang's most prized possession. He would never have left without it. But cats don't pack up before they run away, do they? I know my Fang, and I trust my vampire senses. Together we'll find that cat burglar. Let Operation Rescue Fang begin. Sorry, Dad. This could be a crime scene. Hmm. No clue 
who's here, Mona? Just a lot of stinky garbage. Hmm, what do we have here? Of course. Good thinking, Fang. He left us a trail so we could find him. So these chunks of tuna should lead us right to the catnapper. <laughs> I hope Bag didn't fall in. He's not much of a swimmer. My dream! This is worse than I thought. What is it, Mona? Fang is being held captive in an underwater prison by a miserable tyrant. How could Angela do something like this? No, Princess Giant. It was someone far more nefarious than Angela. Nobody's more nefarious than me. Whatever that means. Now get off my property. You're blocking my son. <gasps> we were just leaving. But Mona, what about Operation Rescue Fang? Don't worry, Zatman. I've got a plan. There's only one villain who could have catnapped Fang. Poseidon, tyrannical ruler of the underwater world. Don't you mean Poseidon Man? No, Zatman. Poseidon Man is just a comic book character. Poseidon is the real life aquatic king of villainy that Poseidon Man's based on. I heard the real Poseidon sued the comic book company and made them change the name. And this Poseidon guy lives in Angela's pool? The pool must contain some kind of portal into his kingdom. Yeah, it says here that Poseidon uses portals to gain access to our world. But why kidnap Fang? There's only one way to find out. We're going to have to pay him a little visit. <laughs> Who would wear that? That's so last century. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> My hat! My beautiful hat! Oh, no! Let's try and get closer. Would someone shut that cat up? Do more, Fang. I'll rescue you. <laughs> nice doggies. Easy. Bad doggy. Heal. Phew. Thanks, guys. I thought I was going to be lunch there for a minute. Uh, Bad doggy. Uh oh, swim. <laughs> did a pretty good job of capturing his essence. Silence! Who dares to disturb the great Poseidon? Yeah. I am Mona the Vampire, and I'm not leaving until you hand over Fang. Mona! No, you've come at last. I'm so relieved to see you. I'm sorry about the catnapping, but it was the only way I could be sure you'd come. I need your help. Please, make it stop! Ever since that obnoxious girl moved in upstairs, I haven't had a moment's rest! You mean Angela? All that annoying chatter, the incessant giggling! I can't stand it! You have to get rid of her! Believe me, we'd love to, but that's impossible! There's no way we can get rid of Angela. But if you don't mind relocating your kingdom, I have the perfect house for you to live under. Excellent! But first, release Fang. Of course! We've got a deal. Fang, wait for us! For the last time, get off my property and take your stupid cat with you. 
For your information, Angela, you had a disgruntled underwater world neighbor holding Fang hostage. But don't worry, we took care of it. There is no way that cat was in my pool. My mother probably took pity on your poor, underprivileged, filthy little cat and gave him a bath. That's all right, Angela. No need to thank us. I figured it was best to let Angela believe what she wanted. The truth would have been too much for her. The good news is this tale had a happy ending for everyone. Angela got a new hat, Poseidon got a new home, and Fang and I realized that whatever our differences, we're happiest together. Did that get here?